72 hours, goddamn, I'm feeling late. Damn, I'm in the face of my mind. Let's live in a cloud now, and this night is never on vacation. Sound of their minds are riding in yo what is going on guys welcome back to the channel this is horcrux thank you again for all the subscribers thank you again for all the views likes comments i really appreciate all you guys and coming in on the streams even when i'm having my off days i really appreciate that now my sound is a little bit off i did uh, mess up my headset so just bear with me on this build video so today i'm we'll gonna be going over my magsorg pvp build uh for serial this is not for uh ic or bgs although i did take this into bgs and you hit so incredibly hard you really don't need a proc set so if you really want a nice cheap way and your tire like changing sets around whatever uh this will work great for bgs as well but it is optimized for serial so let's hop right into it so here's the character sheet everything completely unbuffed fully buffed uh this is without continuous attack Here's our recovery. So you got to pop a potion, excuse me, of the 1700, 1500, 1200. Back bar. Here's our resistances. It is kind of low, but we're running sword and board, so that kind of makes up for it because we have a lot of block mitigation. And our recoveries do go up by about another two to 300 uh, with continuous attack as well. So, the food, running Bewitch Sugar Skulls because we, we need the health recovery because we do not have a source of a direct heal. Running the Mage Mundus, offensive and defensive because this increases our award size. Obviously the Jester is bone, you know, experience, high boost, whatever. Sets, pretty basic. Uh, this is not original at all. Uh, I'm pretty sure like every Sork and their mother's running something very similar to this. What distinguishes this build from the others is that we're running Destro Sword and Board and also our skill setup. So Crafty Inferno, running Sharpened on this. This gives us the most overall damage with a weapon and damage enchant on our front bar. Back bar running crafty. If you don't have the gold, you don't have to gold off the sword, it's no big deal. But we are running infuse. Ideally, you want sturdy on the back bar. So this gives us the highest possible amount of magic that we can have running sword and board. I'm running poison on the back bar because more often than not, you're really not gonna get your line attack off too much on your back bar. So poisons is probably better than running enchant, which you only get like half the enchant effect anyway, right? So uh, when it comes to the armor sets, we're running three heavy, three light, and one medium. If you are higher CP than me, I'm only at like 870. If you're like closer to the 1200s, you can, you can get away with running five light, one medium, one heavy to maximize your Indonid. The reason I'm running three heavy is because I have a lower health pool than most people. So it's important for me to not get one tapped and have as much health as possible. So that's why I'm running at 313. Running uh, reinforced on the uh, heavy pieces if you can. If you don't have reinforced, impenetrable or sturdy is just as good. The other set we're running is shackle breaker. Surprise, surprise. And see it in your eyes. It's me, it's me, it's Ernest T. So this gives us pretty much everything we need. Uh, the recoveries are great. The stamina is really great because we do block a lot. This class plays a lot like a DK, except you have more mobility with streak. The other two steps are running swarm mothers. And ideally you want Dommy House instead of Grothgar. I don't have a uh, heavy Dommy House, so uh, I'm just running Grothgar from Nashville. Not that, that big a deal in the scheme of things. And like I said, M-Pin on the uh, the light pieces, medium pieces, or sturdy, doesn't matter. And then on the big pieces, I would definitely go reinforced. Jewelry-wise, run two recovery, one spell damage, no exception. It doesn't matter how you piece this around, Shackle Breaker Crafty running on both bars, so. Skill wise, front bar, no surprise, running Crystal Frags, Haunting Curse, running Inner Light. It's very important to get her burst off when we can. This gives us the crit, plus it gives us more damage. Um, so you could question, you know, why don't you run Ellie Drain? Well, the changes to Magic Source or actually Magic Damage in general has a chance to apply a minor Magic Steal, which is kind of like half the effects of uh, Ellie Drain anyway. And you get that from you're literally doing any magical damage. So uh, that's why we're running Elemental Weapon to uh, help proc that status effect. Also, it procs any other status effect. Also, when it misses, it gives you Magicka back. So this is a really good, I would consider a best in slot spammable for the Magicka Sorcerer. Now, if you're a console or using controller like I am, it is a little wonky to use because of the lag and you know medium attack weaving just comes natural to me because that's what i did back in vanilla so if you're not too good with a lot, a lot of attack weaving like consistently i would definitely go with crushing shock but as of right now i feel that elemental weapon 
is just the better spammable. In addition, you also do get a little bit more burst from your uh, spell orb. So every time, five times you spam these, you get a little extra burst uh, on this cast there. So Streak is our CC. If you're on controller, you may have a hard time hitting this, but a little bit of practice, I'm sure you guys can nail it. Um, gap Closer. This is our escape button. It does everything. Pretty much essential on Sorcerer, but if you guys know me, typically I don't run Streak, but since we have no procs, there's really nothing else I can do. I have to have Streak. As far as the ultimate, Shooting Star is really good, but my favorite, personally, is Frank. Frank provides, uh, he's pretty much a tank. You know, line of sight, all kinds of things with Frank. Uh, you can either run uh, the greater one, which I'm running now, more single target damages last longer, or you can run the AoE version, which uh, uh, does a pretty good amount of AoE damage, meaning people like jumping on you. Like, it's really nice. Dark conversion, obviously, this uh, helps us heal. Uh, you spam this, you know, off CC cooldown. You know, you guys know it's real. Arden Ward, this is uh, our big boy ward. We do have a lot of our CP focus around this. Now, our flex spot on the back. I'm using Daedric Minefield. You guys, if you feel more comfortable running Dampen, by all means, run Dampen. But me personally, I feel that Daedric Minefield is the best item in the Sorcerer's Kit. They did change Daedric Minefield instead of it being AoE damage type. It's technically now a single target which is both good and bad. Good being that your single target passives now apply to Daedric Mines, all right? But bad also because people's damage mitigation when it comes to single target spells is also increased. So kind of a catch 22 on Mines. Uh, this goes up to like 11K, something like that with the weapon damage proc and then continuous attack goes up to 12K. So roll through these at your own caution. Uh, Daedric Minefields do hit extremely hard now, plus it has a chance to apply, like I said, the Minor Magic Seal because it is magic damage. And then our biggest source of healing is Critical Surge, also our major sorcery buff, and you pair that with Boundless Storm. So pretty much every second you're getting a tick of health. It's very, very nice. Um, if you do decide to run Crushing Shock in the bar, that does give you a little bit more chances to proc Critical Surge because Crushing Shock counts as three instances of damage. So pretty much every weave, you're going to get 3,300 back in health. And this can crit, by the way. Back bar runs Temporal Guard. I do not have Shield Wall leveled up, but an alternative as well as run the Sword and Board ult. I have been running into a lot of uh, Overload Spamming Crutch Lords. I've had some beef with the past couple of days. They think they're really good because they can overload spam you with 500 ults and uh, beat you in a duel. Um, there's no skill in that. Let's be a real guy. So grow up if you're one of those fellas. Champion points. The best way to go about this. I am low CP. Keep that in mind. I'm just going to go over the four passes that I run kind of slowly. Running Fighting Finesse. Deadly Aim. Duelist Rebuff and Arcane Supremacy. Arcane Sup Supremacy gives us more Maxim Magicka. Duelist Rebuff is uh, damage reduction. Deadly Aim is damage done. And then Fighting Finesse is critical healing and also critical damage done. In the Red Tree, Running Bastion increases the effectiveness of your Harden Ward by 15%. Arcane Alacrity, while you have a damage shield active, your roll dodges cost a lot less, which is very, very handy because I do roll dodge quite a bit on this build and it's one of your main sources of getting away. You can probably roll dodge like eight or nine times in a row and not run out of stamina. It's incredible. Um, also, cost reduction on rewards from our shield master and then rejuvenation gives us 150 magic health and stamina recovery across the board. In the green tree, you really don't need anything besides the uh, war mount passive and also the Gift of Rider passive, which increases your mount speed by 2% per level, up to 10%. Now, there is one other passive uh, called Liquid Efficiency. Whenever you use a potion or poison, you have a 10% chance to not consume it. That's very, very nice. I unfortunately do not have the champion points to spec into this, so as long as you have uh, the War Mount passive and also the Gift of Rider passive, you really don't need anything in the green tree. So. Hopefully I kept it nice, short, and sweet for you guys to kind of tailor this build to what you want. There's not much diversity when it comes to running a mag sword build right now, um, other than the skill sets. Um, trust me guys, play around with mines. I think you're going to love them. They do a lot more damage than they did previously. So this has been Horcrux. Thank you guys for tuning in. And if you want to tune in the streams, please hit that bell icon because I stream randomly right now. I really don't have a set stream schedule where I do work full time and do some uh, other work on the side. So. Thank you guys again for joining in on the streams. 
watching the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.